this video is not going to teach you everything you need to know about Hackle. I am just going to go over a few steps in selecting and preparing Hackle feathers off of a rooster cape Hackle for streamers. Capes are great for their feather versatility as you will get multiple feather sizes in one cape. For instance, at the top of the cape, you will usually get thicker, webbier feathers. And when you select feathers from the bottom of the cape, you will get thinner, shorter feathers. Another thing to keep in mind is, the feathers on the outside of the cape will have a slight curve to them. As you can see, the feathers curve upwards. When needing to select multiple feathers for one streamer, keep the curve in mind. For streamers with feathers tied on opposite sides of the fly, you will want to pull feathers on opposite sides of the cape. Also try to select feathers that are roughly the same size and length, as this will help assist in tying them in evenly. As you can see, these two feathers both have opposite curves to them, and are roughly the same size and shape. Some flies require both feathers to be put together to make a thicker and less transparent feather. Selecting feathers that mirror each other properly is very important for this technique. As you can see, once these feathers are put together, they look almost like one feather, since they are both roughly about the same size and shape. Another very important thing to keep in mind is how to prepare your feathers for tying in. After you measure the length you want for your feathers, you will want to cut off the unneeded part of the feather. You could just strip some of the bottom fibers off of the feather to expose the stem. However, I like to clip these fibers off whenever possible, because it leaves little pieces of the fiber in the stem. These fibers act like barbs to hold the feather in place, and therefore makes your flies much more durable. Hey, thanks for watching. For more fly tying tips, please subscribe.